The Colt leader tie-in booth, back where it all started. The other craziest thing is, I think it was like, what, maybe eight, nine months ago? Same pub, same location where we met, came up with these crazy ideas on stuff we can do. We're back here. Back to base. This is literally base. No, but you know what I like though, we've done a lot in between. You know, whether people take to it or not, we've gone to Wakey Wines. I've held up a jar of sweets and said, yeah, Wakey Wines which is corny and it goes against what I'm normally about. But, you know, just doing that, we went to Dublin, Morocco, etc. So yeah, we're back here. But we're not, we're, some people just talk, you know, about doing this and doing that, but they're not really on it. We you did know? it though, innit? I made you all these promises. Not only that, I'm just trying to think, 23 episodes in to Adventures of a Retired Boxer. 23 episodes in, that's a lot of episodes and a lot of work. Not only that, two fights in, one L and one strap. One appearance on a talk sport, the Daily Mail, the first fight when I walked out the ring. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I, well, think it's been I don't think it led to anything. I'm not sure. If, no, if, this negative. getting in the Daily Mail, you know, boosted me and enabled me to progress in life. It, it didn't really move the needle, did it? We've got a bit of negative press in that. Yeah, I really don't care about all that stuff. And then, I forgot the bag, the Hex Toys bag. Oh, Hex, shout out to Hex Toys. He dropped I, a nice bag, you know, he's been supporting me over the years. And when people say, oh, some people support you more than your own family, that's true. That's so true. Hex Toys is like family to you, isn't it? Yeah, but even like you, you've given me like a 30 pounds, you know, in a super chat. You don't uh, forgot that 30 pounds, No, pound, I appreciate it. I don't forget things like that. But then how many family members have given me a super chat or bought a t-shirt, you know, with my face on, like a lot of people have. Has Jermaine Pennant ever given you anything? Jermaine Pennant. Do people know him? He's a bit... Footballer. Former Premiership footballer, Arsenal, Liverpool, Leeds. I used to look up to him. I was Surely a, bit, a millionaire at some point. I was a bit jealous of him because I really wanted to be a footballer, but I didn't make it, like with boxing. So I was seeing him doing well. This is before social media. It was all about the newspapers. If he was in the paper, like, he was a little bit of a somebody, you know what I mean? And Jermaine Pennant, I seen him in the paper, I thought, yeah, I'm happy for him, but I was a bit jealous at the same time. Has he ever bought you anything? Nah, he ran me over one time when he was drink driving. I was riding my bike in Nottingham. I tried to cross the road, Jermaine just hit me, you know, the back of my tyre. And I just went flying onto the floor, unconscious. Eventually woke up with a big swelling on my head pushing my bike, you know, the back tire was like jammed and I was like sliding it back home, you know, back to my mum's when I was like 16, 17. So that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's the most he's given me, you know, a swelling. That accident, could that have caused the hunchback? Because Prince Patel kept talking about your hunchback. Yeah, he made me um, insecure. He, he, he did make me feel insecure, you know. You know this guy with these chairs, he's kind of f***ing up yeah. the noise, isn't he? What that, do you think? It'd be alright, the mics will drown it out. Oh, okay. So what you say, Prince Patel? Yeah, because... Yeah, been... I was talking about him today in the gym and he's just trying to go where he's being accepted. Mm. He's been blackballed from boxing. Which I have to a degree, but I don't care. I can just make money sitting at home talking a load of BS, you know, in a stream. But him, he, he's still trying to... Even though he's saying he's like one in however many billion Indians, you know, to win a world title. It's not enough, is it? As he made that money where he can chill out and relax. His brothers and sisters are doctors, lawyers, solicitors, accountants, and he's a little boxer getting a couple of grand. But you gotta rate his hustle. Though. On paper, he's officially a world champion. Yeah, but it's like that belt that I won in Dudley. That belt's behind the couch. I had to just put it out of sight, out of mind. His might be a bit more prestigious than that little Dudley belt that I won, but I know a world champ, you know, from the gym, who was a genuine world champ. He ain't, he didn't make money. He's still scrabbling around for a few little quid, doing little boxer size classes. I, ju I just thought to myself as well, and most people are going to be watching this thinking, why is it not being mentioned? You've got a new, new set of clothes, all white. Yeah, I see you got them four pan. Primark trainers on. 
They're still going strong. They're still white as well. Like you kept on white. You bought on me, didn't you? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, forget it. What you say? Uh, oh, the, the white stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All white. Yeah, the black hoodie, the black jeans. It was so negative. It was ugly. It was. You just show me a little clip of the, you know, the Morocco video uh, trip, and it was just disgusting. Black, horrible jeans. You know, just come back from Santrini then. So I just thought, let me spice it up a bit and go for the go for the white look. Right, you, right. You don't realize you look like someone who's on his way or just come back from Santrini. Yeah, I don't know where that is, you know, but I've been getting a bit of attention. You know that I don't normally get when I'm in the black. You notice it straight away. There's one thing you're missing, Ty. But when you was in Morocco, you bought these Tom Fraud glasses, the ones that squeezed your head. Oh, Tom Fraud. And you left them behind, and we managed to get them back for you. Oh, you got them here, yeah. There yeah, you go. these are just it's just knockoff stuff, isn't it? Cheap, fake BS. But do you remember the Tom Fraud haggling you had to do for them glasses? I tried to forget about it. You know, a lot of that, that happened in Morocco. Prince Patel's annoying. He beat, he beat me in an arm wrestle. Um, mm. I don't, it's like being with a kid, you know, I just, I just, I just can't wait to see the back of him. I'm just curious, what, what did you think of the, the haggling? Because that's something I'm guessing you never experienced before. That hardcore level of like, it's back and forth, like you're arguing over like 10 pence. But they're hustlers, we've seen them like the little kids at 1am trying to sell, sell us tissues and stuff like that. You know what I mean? They've got that hustle. So me coming back to England after seeing their work ethic, it hasn't really rubbed off on me because I haven't been consistent. That's why you're beneficial because you're sending me videos, react to this, react to that. Let's go here, let's go to Pakistan, which is where we're going next, unfortunately. Bit of an exclusive there for people. Some people might like it, some may hate it, but I think Paki time booth in Pakistan will be absolute gold dust. Um, well, the Moroccans thought you was a local. They all yeah. mistook you as a Moroccan. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a nice place. The sun is such a chilled vibe. You know what I mean? That's the longest I've gone without alcohol. You know, four days, three, four days. Because the sun just, you sat down in a coffee shop, looking at the women, the sun, vitamin D. It's just a good vibe. People drink, I think people drink in this country. One, because, you know, it's always cold and miserable. You know what I mean? Or, or they're at work, 10 hours. But when we went to Morocco, it's like they were just sitting outside of coffee shops. Watching world You know, drinking around. coffee, like, just, uh, do they work? I mean, we've seen them hustling, so I suppose it's a f form of work, isn't it? But very nice, since Muslim you, country. Since you've come back, Ty, I've, I've seen you've been putting videos up of yourself cooking. Seen cheese and beans on toast. We've seen a jacket potato today with cheese and beans. Fish and fingers. Been, so a fish finger sandwich with cheese on it as well, which is a. Yeah. Were you trying to recreate a fillet of fish there, or? You know, every time I eat some some BS like that, I think of Dominic Ingle. Do you know what I mean? You know, when I'm eating all this processed bullshit, mm. fish fingers, snacker jack crisps, you know, stuff like that. Like, it's, what what did you say? Fish. Uh, were you trying to recreate a fillet of fish? No, it's just. I mean. We've had some good boxing events, Usyk Fury, the 5v5, but, you know, trying to be like consistent with the content. I can't just sit around watching, you know, boring boxing interviews. So I went down the food um, path, you know, did some food reviews and stuff like that. But it's hard to know when you're coming across as corny. There's a line there. Sometimes you cross the line and you're coming across as cringe. So you have to watch out, isn't it? That's why I don't really upload a lot, because I don't want to come across as corny. I'm just curious. That's what Prince Patel is. He's corny, he's talking about girth every minute. But he's dead. Well, the, um, I'm just curious, because all this cooking stuff we've been putting up, I know we went on a date with Alexia Grace, forgot about that. That was a, a good couple of episodes there. Let's say, say if she came to your house and you had to cook for her, I'm just curious, what would you cook for her? For a date at home. I wouldn't let her around the bed sit because I know she'll be acting stuck up anyway. You could tell she she was a bit arrogant because she's got all these desperate men giving her money. You know what I mean? She might have a little blue tick which she can buy. She's stuck up. I want I want I mean obviously I'd I'd, I'd bang her, but as far as cooking for her and all that, trying to whine and trying to you know what I mean, trying to. But if, so, if you did have a lady bow then... down to her and trying to get her to really, I, I've never tried it on with a woman ever, and I've probably bang nearly a hundred women at this point you know what I mean so I'm not saying I'm good-looking or I've I've kind of I kind of played off the whole boxing thing 
I used to put up pictures of myself in shape, you know, stood next to the boxers or somebody's. And these women don't really know about boxing, so they thought I was a somebody, do you know what I mean? So I did well sexually, you know, on the back of the boxing, but yeah. Well, right now you're looking cool as fuck, dressed in all white, uh, them Tom Ford glasses on, people walking past will be thinking, you're some, like, A-lister. Yeah, there was a, like a sort, sort of like a social experiment. This guy who was a nobody went out in public, hired a little videographer and, and, and some little fake paparazzi, like taking pictures of him in public. And because of that, yeah, women kept going up to him. They was intrigued, you know, fascinated. Like, who's this guy? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Because, like, fame now is different to 20 years ago. Back in the day, Phil Mitchell off EastEnders was famous. Everyone knew him. But now you can be famous, like a... Like, my mum wouldn't know KSI, for example, or PewDiePie, or Mr. Beast, you know what I mean? But they obviously got, like, a hardcore fan base. But fame now, it don't mean anything. I'm not saying I'm famous, but it don't mean anything now. It's all been, like, watered down. What, um, everyone's got their own platform now, so everyone's famous in, in their own little deluded mind. Yeah, that's a fair point. You're Chasing that dopamine, you know what I mean? That short-lived dopamine. That's why that belt's behind the couch. Talking of that belt, is there going to be a third fight? I know there was talk of a fight in July, but I don't know if you pulled out or what. I don't even know what's happening. It's not that I pulled out. I you never know, pulled in, did you? I don't know why the guy even put... You can't just be announcing a show, putting my face on a poster and my name, saying I'm fighting on the show. Like, who, who do you think you are? So to, it's almost to be like, fair to him, he kept reaching out to you, never replied to him. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, though. Like, so, Okay, so he, he booked a show, put my face on the poster, my name. I never said I'd box again. And then he's harassing me on WhatsApp. I don't owe this guy anything. If anything, he owes me. You know, me and you combined got him some exposure that he's never got in his life. So I don't know why he's trying to act like he's my boss, you know, like scheduling me fights. Is that like your version of Don King in the, on the no, Dudley boxing No, but Don King's team. good though, isn't it? Don King, that's an awful comparison because Don King actually was something. This guy's a nobody. Low level shit, but... So you you looking to retire on top? I might box her, that's the thing, but you know what it is? When I used to box myself as a pro, I used to enjoy it when, my, like, when Dominic used to ring me or his brother and say, like it might be a Thursday, I might have just finished a good session. They might ring me like Thursday evening saying, do you want to box on Saturday, which is two days. Now really, you're supposed to like, you know, structure your training, you know, properly. And then rest for a week before the fight, you know, to recover. But I used to like just getting short notice notice jobs because then you, you haven't got as much time to think about it just get in there you're not up all night thinking oh you know is he southpaw is he orthodox oh let me try and find footage of him and all this but i used to spar with like a wide variety of different people anyway with different styles so i was kind of this is when i was on it i was ready but then i went downhill did you purposely ask for a white mug as well it's like you're fully fully white i was gonna try and buy some white gloves because you know me, yeah, I've got this habit. I've white done. gloves and white cap is all you're missing. I don't know if I've got OCD, but you know, like when there's a bit of skin on my finger, I peel it off, yeah? And when it, when it peels back and it starts to bleed, it gives me like a little rush. But it's a disgusting habit. And you know, when people see my hands, say if you was a woman now nah, and I'm sat here, it's no good. I used to have long nails and it's just disgusting. This could be the new time booth then. Yeah, that's it, you know. I've got rid of my tweezers because I used to use tweezers to peel the skin out. I chucked the tweezers in the bin, Man, that sounds, you know, a few days ago. That sounds fucking disgusting. They're in the uh, bed, they're, they're in the, they've been in the bed shit, man. Uh, uh, another random topic change, Ryan Garcia, you seen all the madness going on around Ryan Garcia. He reckons the Illuminati are out to get him and what, what do you think is going on with Ryan Garcia? Yeah, but you just mentioned the Illuminati, you know, you don't really want me to go into that kind of territory. And you know, if I do, you're going to cut it out anyway. So <laughs> the, in, the interview will be a bit disjointed you know what I mean you know we're not going to go into that do you reckon there's people out there to get Ryan Garcia like or is he um or is he just faking all this stuff on social have you been keeping up to date with the stuff well, he does a well he's a target for these elites because he's young he's good looking you know he's got money he's got a certain amount of celebrity status you know what I mean and when did he who did he box Devin Aine he was a Muslim this guy uh, Ryan Garcia is supposed to be a Christian so the, the, the elites, this is a conspiracy theory. The elites are trying to 
you know, get Christians to go against Muslims, blacks against whites, and they're trying to form like a one religion called Chrislam, you know, where it's like a one world order. So uh, they might be targeting him, innit? I don't know. He said he went to that Bohemian Grove, which I was reading about on Wikipedia the other day. It's where these, these elites, they have like festivals every year or something. Yeah, I think we'll see. So you didn't want to, that's we'll what I'm saying. There, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'll have to cut it out Why anyway. Because, well, we kind of touch the surface. Right, if people it. want to read about yeah. Bohemian Grove, yeah, give it a Google and give it a watch. Uh, I was going to say, you obviously suffered a, a no, I think it was your fifth fight when you lost your O. On paper, yeah. yeah. On box wreck. On box wreck. You went to Spain, Lanzarote, Lanzarote. Lost, lost your O. I'm just curious, what was it like coming back? That feeling of knowing that you're not undefeated anymore. Well, Brendan, Brendan used to prepare us all the time. He used to say to us, you're going to win, lose, draw, get ripped off. What you're going to learn, you're not going to get beat up. We're body sparring in the gym the majority of the time, so we're not getting brain damage. We're still, really, we're still fresh, you know what I mean? It's, we haven't really got miles on the clock. If you've trained in that gym over the years, that was the system. So me losing, I used to see some cowards in the gym. There was a couple of little fake boxes, little pretend boxes. They'd box nobody, fight after fight after fight. Then they would step up a little level, they'd get beat, or they'd have a life and death struggle with some nobody and never box again, pussy out. So I didn't want to be amongst, I didn't want to be like those kind of cowards. I wanted to be like a Johnny who just got in there with anybody. And if you look at my record on box wreck, I was always the away fighter. And it's, it's kind of my fault that I didn't achieve. Cause I could have, I could have took those away fight experiences you know and really just did what johnny did and that's why i got a lot of respect for him but i didn't stick to it like he did but you know what i mean at least i didn't get in there with just journeyman fight after fight like some of these cowards in the gym over the years people say you should respect everyone who climbs in the ring no not at all not at all i need to get you and johnny together at some point i think it'd be quite good content i don't but... think he'd do it shout out to johnny but he's got that corporate job really good job good speaker well, no, we they keep call it, him a we company man, except, I like him. I, we keep I, I, it clean though. I've never dissed him in all my videos. So, and he's, I don't really want to get into it, but something happened like outside of boxing. You know, with one of me and his relatives on a drunken night out in town. And he could, he could have took his family's side, you know what I mean? And kind of put it on me, but he didn't. He stayed uh, impartial and I, I rate him for that as well. Johnny's a real guy, man. Shout out to Johnny Nelson, man. So the reason I brought up you losing your aura, just curious to know how you dealt with it, because obviously I was going to talk to you about Tyson. Hold on a sec, hold on a sec, hold on, on a sec. You know that, that thing that I just told you about, yeah? Yeah. Like, this was like 15 years ago. I cringe and fucking wince when I think about it. And when I see Johnny, like, you know, getting interviewed by people like you, it brings it back and I think, no, should I handle that differently? Well, yeah, what did you say? Well, the reason I brought up you losing your O, I uh, was going to bring up Tyson Fury losing to Alexander Usyk. You obviously watched the fight, and there's this video going around the last 24 hours, Tyson walking out of a pub, um, looking a bit worse for wear. Obviously, we don't know what the situation is, but could it be a, a circumstance where he's struggling to, to deal with losing his O? I just want to know if you could kind of relate to that when you lost your O in Lanzarote. No, because he was doing that anyway, Tyson Fury. He was already drugged up. We already know he was drugged up. He was drinking, he was fat, overweight, you know what I mean? Seen him with videos of beers. He's, he's always been like that. But you know, people like that, like... I remember Dominic King was saying it about Kel Brook. You know how he's lived like a bit of a reckless life outside of boxing? Dominic said the reason why Kel Brook was good at boxing was because he did have that kind of like crash bang wallop type, you know, mentality. And he was kind of similar in the ring, you know what I mean? Just... But if he was just like a normal, quiet guy, he might not have achieved what he achieved. I'm not saying that's the case for everyone, because there are probably, well, look at Usyk. He's nice, quiet, you know what I mean? But he gets the job done. Do, do you think... And I'm happy for him. And, do, you, um, do you think yeah. Fury beats him in the rematch? No. Uh, well, I hope not. I'm going to be honest. I'm a big fan of uh, Usyk. But why are you fan of Usyk? Uh, I don't know, he just seems classy. You see John Fiore taking his top off and he's all fat and... Views, isn't it? Views and negativity. Yeah, it's good, man, but I, just, I like classy people like uh, Lennox Lewis, you know, Kawasaki, Usyk. 
But then I like the sort of like Nazas and the Mike Tyson. Oh, it depends, innit? I like a variety of different personalities depending on my mood. But I like Usyk and I'm glad he won. Uh, and what do you make of Frank Warren beating Eddie Hearn? Were you, were you smiling at that or were you upset? Well, when Usyk caught Tyson Fury with a right hook, straight left. Oh. Well, we've filmed loads in here before. Yeah, we've yeah, done it before. So I've been here a long time I, and I've never seen you guys film. I'll show you videos. I'm saying, if you're saying we can't film uh, in we here, we can, we'll go, but I'm saying, like, we have done it before. That's all we're saying. Uh, yeah. But you might not have been here that day. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, somebody yeah. should have said, but yeah. Uh, I thought you could do it inside, like, in a... Not outside there, but you could do it inside, like, in an enclosed space. That's why we're just kind of in the corner here. Yeah, but our, our policy with Weatherspoons is we don't allow filming unless it's been pre-authorised from our head office. And it hasn't been. Uh, uh, unless, you've, unless you've got proof that it has. It's, shall we just finish? Should we, should we, shall, shall, shall we finish it up out there, like outside? Yeah. Well, what about outside? Can you do it outside? Do it now, beer garden, no, outside. not the beer garden. We're not talking oh, about the beer garden. We're talking about outside. Like there's a little alley. Yeah, we're just going the swings or something. You never know, thought it was too dark. Yeah, yeah. That's private property as well. If we go out filming, now you don't yeah. fight. So you can't. What if you get your phone out? You're not filming on your phone either. You're not allowed to film. That's oh. just bonkers, that isn't it? People get their phones out and record, so we can walk down and record. Yeah, cool. Outside no of the building. I'm just showing everyone your your trousers. Right. Well, that, that didn't go according to plan. We just got kicked out of Meadow Hall again. Um, so we're just freestyling. We'll probably get stopped filming from here as well. They'll be the yeah, same. We can walk. Free property. What are you going to do? Like grab the camera though. You know what I mean? You ain't going to do that. I forgot where we were. We, we were talking about. Uh, I was asking. I was talking about Usyk. Usyk throwing a right hook, left hand at Tyson Fury, and Tyson laughed. And that's, if you look, if you watch the, the ninth round, that's the same combo that he caught him with, I think. Turned it around. Once he turned it around, because he was doing well anyway, Usyk. But it kind of looked like Tyson was getting in there, you know, with them uppercuts. And I was mm. thinking, fuck. Let me just flip that. Back. Come on, come on, Usyk. So you reckon Usyk's gonna win the rematch, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What's, what's Tyson? Has he got anything left? Has he had it beaten out of him or what? He's drunk. He's falling over the place. I don't really care, man. He rang me up, you know, when uh, I was going through my little thing. I think he was trying, I think he, I don't know if he was ringing me to like have a go at me or you know like show that support so I don't know. Uh, you know the we don't know him do we? No we don't. We um, don't know him. You know the other thing I was going to bring up completely forgot earlier but I don't think we've spoken about it. Um, Pierce Brosnan playing Brendan Ingle. Have you ever spoken about that? I don't think we have have we? Yeah I'm not, I'm not really into the idea you know I've seen no. that little fake nice and he just looks like an idiot. Do you know what I mean? He's, how can you, how can you like replicate Nas, how can you imitate Nas? You know what I mean? I've seen these little fake Nazas, you know, come through and, oh, he's the next Nas, and they just end up nothing like him. No, because it's not just about, how can you have a fighter, yeah, who dances, does flips, knocks them out in the second round, you know what I mean? Magic carpets, you know, all of that, the whole package, the interviews, everything was just on point. So it's hard to like replace that or get another Nas. If they were made a movie about Ty and Booth, who would you want to play you? Uh, again, you can't just have it. I'm not saying I'm like special, but like we're all individual in our own way. You know what I mean? So I, I play, I play myself. I want to be in that Brendan film, you know, as like a little extra or yeah. a little sparring partner. You know, I'd think it'd be brilliant at playing you, Martin Lawrence. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know, I just think like he's got good good humour. Yeah, he's had a stroke. Has he? He's just, he was in the... Bad, Bad Boys just got released the other day. Yeah. Was he in it? Yeah. I know he had a stroke and it affected his voice. He might have come around since. He's got money, he probably can afford like top, you know, whatever. And we're cut back in, people will be wondering what we just cut out. Well, I've got the... a doctor's appointment in two weeks, so they might find something wrong with me. You know, if I get tested. Autism, bipolar. ADHD, OCD, they'll find something, so. Prince Patel said he had autism. Yeah, he's an idiot, man. He's seriously, everything he was saying, like, like off camera, yeah, he'd say to me, oh yeah, I know I probably wouldn't beat you in Misfits, but I just wanna, I just wanna fight you because I just want the payday, you know what I mean? So, and then he goes on camera and says, oh, I'll knock you out and all this. I'm not into the flip-flopping. He wasn't all that bad though, I thought he was. He's all right, man, yeah. in small doses. Uh, yeah, the arm wrestle, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, I think, you know, before I wrap up, I've got to give the fans like a, like just show them what the time booth is in all white. 
They're ready to go to Santrini. Where's that? You keep saying it. Yeah, you know when you Google Santrini, you'll see what I mean. It's like everything's just white. Yeah, like I say, man, I'm just wearing all black. Oh, black one of these Marbella Beach it's pool parties. Yeah, man, that's what that's that's what it is. That's what is that the vibe? That's that's the uh, the dream, isn't it? Like, not the dream, but it's cold. I mean, it's supposed to be summertime. It's like eight degrees, so it's it kind of motivates you, isn't it? Inspires you to you know do it. Where are we going? L.A. Oh, there's so many plans. So many plans. Compton, for, you know, yeah. Compton, 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 and Pakistan. Would you go to Compton? I've already been. You've been to Compton? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not as scary as you think. Yeah. I think that's it, Ty. Yeah, yeah. So as of now, we don't know whether you're going to fight or not. Potentially, you might decide the day before that you're fighting and you might end up fighting in 5th of July, something like that. Random. You oh, might... did I tell you about those cats? The woman with Oh, the no, cats. yeah. What's this cat thing on about? Yeah, so there's a woman, yeah, that I basically banged about 10 years ago. We've kind of stayed in touch a little bit. We're not together like that, but she's like one of those crazy cat women. She's got like 10 cats, 10 dogs. So she popped up the other day asking me for 20 pounds for some dog food. I said, all right, I'll give you 20 pounds, but I want one of your kittens. You know, so I can make little videos with, you know, little cute animals and, you know, to expand. And I like, I like animals as well. So, you know, that's uh, something that's going to be coming up. Well, why did I just tell you that? What did you say? Because uh, you're telling us what's happening new with you and you're basically cra yeah. crazy cat man, time booth. Yeah, man, we'll do, we'll do that. But like I say, there's been some big boxing events, Music Fury, 5v5, but I just don't think there's enough, you know, for me to really just be pumping out a lot of content, like boxing related. So you, your fans are just wanting to know an update. So as a quick summary, you might end up in Pakistan, you might end up in Compton, you might bring out some cat, cat content, yeah. you might end up deciding 24 hours before you might end up fighting in Dudley again, mm. which could be first week of July, we don't know. You don't know the promoter's going to be watching this, and it'll be straight on the phone tomorrow. He's trying to set me up, it's like... I thought you want to fight people that want to try and win. Well, not that, I don't want to fight anyone who's that good. But I don't want to fight anyone who's as bad as the last guy who just fell over. And who came up to me before the fight, trying to smile and trying to be all friendly in the changing rooms. He came in like three times. So I knew it was just a victory for me. But that's over, that's, it's, not, it's not an achievement. Indeed. Um, I think it's time to wrap it up. Um, it's a bit cold. I've uh, been kicked out of Meadow Hall again for uh, recording inside Meadow Hall. Mm. Bit of shit that, innit? Yeah. So what happened in Compton? Did you get into any problems? No, no beef. Or bloods or any black people? No, there? nothing. It was, it was pretty safe to be fair. Literally yeah. middle of Compton. So you've seen some crips in the streets with blue bandanas and shit like that? No, I think that's just on GTA. No, that's real, man. You've been Isn't playing it? Grand Theft Auto too much, no, I reckon. I don't play games. But, well, I'll tell you where we'll go. If we do end up in LA, we'll go to um, the um, slums. You know, we're like they've got like literally homeless cities. Yeah, it's called uh, uh, Skid Row. Skid Row, yeah. Skid Row. Time, but would you spend a night in Skid I'd Row? Go, yeah, reluctantly. Yeah. Would you, sp uh, would you spend a night there? Uh, even in Eng yeah, for the content only. But in England, when I walk past homeless people, I just try and walk past them as quick as possible, man. Time, but a night in Skid Row, I think that'd be. Yeah, we'll take a little tent and just top it up. I like, I like that. Um, so yeah, so potentially Skid Row, Compton, Pakistan, potential fight, cat content. Cat content. Anything else have I missed out? Uh, yeah. It, it, all white's the new look as well. All yeah, white. It's so much nice, isn't it? It's much different. As long as it's not all pink. Because people are sick. Because you're dragging out these videos. And it might only be like five times that we're together, but you can get like 20 videos out of one day. So it makes it look like to the people who are watching, I'm wearing the same things every day, which I pretty much was anyway. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, you was. Yeah, it's disgusting. So when I got into your... Oh, I don't mind. Could yeah, you smell me? No, but you had them trousers on at the airport, then literally the whole time we was in Morocco and it was like 35 degrees. Yeah, so I'm wearing the same clothes every day, but I can't touch door handles. Yeah. You know, we're trying to get out of that toilet there with a little bit of tissue on the door handle. What's all that about? But then I wear the same shit. And then you had that pink t-shirt on that we, we, you nearly got into a fight over with. Over bloody, like, literally a pound. Yeah, I insulted him. Then you wouldn't give the guy his money because he thought he was going to run off and not give you your change. I said, if you don't give me my change, I'm going to take all these clothes. Is that what I said? Yeah, you got really offended. Yeah, that's harsh. Man. Yeah. He got right, really man. offended. First day in Morocco, but we can't, we cooled down as the time went by. Yeah. I had a good time. 
that's episode 21 for people who want to watch that series. You've got to oh, sign up. Yeah. Give us £2.99 a month, you can watch all these episodes. I don't know if it's hard sell, to be honest, but yeah, we do appreciate the support. You know I mean? yeah, yeah, we do. Um, but yeah, there's no. It's hard for me to promote it because I just. Yeah. I'm not really. I don't want to slag it off him because yeah. you're really big on it, but I'm just not really bothered. Yeah, you say, you're saying that, but he is. I, but... Enjoy, I enjoy the experience, but yeah. Yeah, it's all it's all it's all a, a, a life journey and uh, learning things in life, and that that what was the you, idea. Are you trying to get me to convert to Islam? No, yeah, why do people keep thinking so that? I said that to me today as well. Yeah. In the gym, yeah. What am I going to get out of making you become a Muslim? Because obviously you get, you know, you get you get benef you get benefits, don't you? Well, anybody could get benefit. I convert you to any religion, but for for this whole series, the whole idea was to basically just go around and learn about different cultures and different people. That that's what we've been doing. Mm. Do you know what it is with some religious people though? I feel like they do good things because they think they're going to be rewarded for it. Mm. So what if you don't believe in God and you do good things? Like what? That's just dismissive. Or is God just going to dismiss that? Because no. if you're religious and you're like doing good things because you think you're going to benefit from it, or you don't do bad things because you think you're going to be punished, does that make you a good person or what? You're just doing it because you think God's watching. I don't know, you know, that's, uh, I let people... Don't you think about stuff like this? But yeah, I think uh, that's Thailand. I forgot about Thailand. Thailand's on the list as well. Is that after? Do you I, think don't, I don't know. I, don't, I think we're just going to, we might have to just roll the dice and say whatever comes up. In fact, let the people in the comments decide. What, what do they want? Thailand? What are they going to want? Thailand? Compton? Oh, or do yeah, they want yeah, Pakistan? Pakistan? I don't think they want Pakistan. Do, do you want to see Thai, really. do you want to see Thai booth milking cows in the villages? Mm. Yeah, they probably watch, innit? Because uh, the lady boys in Thailand are probably more appealing than me milking a cow in Pakistan. I think they'd rather go for that. Or maybe you're maybe living in Skid Row for the night. Yeah, something like that. And then we can go and see, what, see what's going on. We, we need Hex gang. Toys to drop the bag, don't we? Hex Toys needs to come through again. Mm. We need another bag. Yeah. Time Booth needs another outfit. So he's, he's treated himself to this outfit from the Hex Toys bag. Mm. Yeah, Ty, I think that's it, really. Yeah. Really? Sign out. Sign out, man. Congratulations. You know, on the what is it? 950,000 subscribers, yeah? 921. You come in. Can you can you sense a bit of hatred, you know, from other channels that like you've overtook them? And I think we'll leave that. As, we'll leave that yeah, there. We'll leave that for my channel. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Ty and Booth, we're all run out. Yeah, man.